Notre Dame football will play an HBCU team for the first time ever. We're going to talk about which HBCU team and why this is a big deal right after the bumpers. Stay tuned. What's good, good people? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. You know how guys have been on here talking about college football brands, the biggest brands in the swag, etc., etc. But the Notre Dame Fighting Irish are undoubtedly one of the biggest brands in all of college sports, Notre Dame football specifically. And they will play an HBCU for the first time ever. It actually will be the first time they'll play an FCS team since FCS, FBS did the little split years and years ago. It's the first time they'll ever do that. And I'm going to show you which FCS team and which HBCU team the same way the Notre Dame showed the world. And they did it with a dope, really dope video montage of the team that they will be going up against. And trust me. It is worth watching the video. So let me go ahead. Let me queue up the video. And this is really cool. And I'm going to talk about it right after the video plays. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's tap in and let's take a listen. The biggest stage in college football. <laughs> Tradition. The distinct sounds of Saturday. Waking up the echoes with high stepping excellence. The Tigers and Fighting Irish in the house that Rocky built. Challenge yourself as an individual to start a pass and get out there and go. Bring this man right here, get that ball back. Let's go, D! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is pretty freaking cool. So the Notre Dame Fighting Irish will take on Tennessee State. Eddie George and the TSU program will travel to South Bend and take on the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Let's take a look at an article written by ESPN, and let's dive a little deeper into this. This is Notre Dame has added a 2023 home game against Tennessee State, which will mark its first ever against a historically black college and university. The Fighting Irish will host Tennessee State, currently coached by Heisman Trophy winner and College Football Hall of Famer, Eddie George on September 2nd, 2023. Notre Dame will open the season the week before against Navy. Quote, none of this would be possible without Tennessee State President Dr. Allen and Coach George's vision for what this game can represent to our universities. Notre Dame Athletic Director Jack Schwerbrick said in a prepared statement, I'm thrilled we're able to bring the Tyrus, Tigers and the Irish together <clears throat> for a weekend that will feature Programs with over 20 combined national titles, the aristocrats of bands, and the bands of the Fighting Irish. Woo! They bringing the aristocrat of bands up there to Notre Dame, man. Like that, that is, it's a big deal. I, I think that's a pretty cool deal. That's a pretty big deal. Let's continue on. It goes on to say Tennessee State will also represent the first ever FCS opponent to face Notre Dame, UCLA and Notre Dame had been two of the final three FBS teams never to play an FCS opponent, but UCLA has scheduled games with two HBCU institutions, including a September 10th contest against Alabama State. USC remains the only FBS school that has never faced an FCS opponent nor plans to play one, at least as of now. George took over Tennessee State in April 2021 prior to no college experience, et cetera, et cetera. So this is really cool. Why? Because... It is only made possible because Eddie George is the head coach of Tennessee State. It also, it's not just Eddie George, though. Big shout out to Notre Dame. You got to give Notre Dame some credit. Their head coach is who? Marcus Freeman. What is he? Another black man. So you get a black man running Tennessee State. You got a black man running Notre Dame. And they're able to bring this black excellence together on the football field with Notre Dame versus Tennessee State with the aristocrat of bands going up against whatever Notre Dame calls their band, uh, you know, we, we just go give them a little culture lesson on that one. But this is super, super dope. This is so, so cool. I love seeing this happen. This is also a way for Notre Dame to 
get out of some of that racist moniker that they've been stigma, you know, kind of swirled around their program for the last, I don't know, 100 years from the Luke Rockney to Rudy to Lou Holtz and all these other guys. They even had like a racist moniker and to kind of kill that. They hired a black coach, Marcus Freeman, to kind of, you know, shred that, you know, peel back some of that some more. They go out and play a black school you know, for the first time ever. So I think that is really, really good on their part. I think this shows what happens when you have diversity in head coaching in college football. Like I said, Notre Dame would have never did this game. Brian Kelly was the head coach of Notre Dame for over a decade. Lou Holtz was the head coach for Notre Dame for, you know, probably closer to two decades. They would never, ever entertain the game against an HBCU. They would have never. It just would never on the top. That was never on their mind. It was never, like, ever going to happen. Ever. Like, ever. And so now you get the first year, you get a black head coach. What do you get? A game against a black school. I mean, boom. This is, this is what happens when you diversify the program, people. This is what happens when you diversify the head coaching ranks, people. So, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, even though Marcus Freeman, is, I know he isn't the first black head coach in Notre Dame history. I know they had a black coach before. But still, I like he's a young, you know, exuberant black man. And he is making this happen. I love it for Tennessee State because, one, they get their product on a national stage. Notre Dame, as we all know, all pretty much all Notre Dame games are broadcasted nationally through their NBC deal. This gets Tennessee State on a national stage. This also, albeit I don't think Tennessee State will have a chance of winning this game, if they're able to pull off this upset, <laughs> voila, it gets that on a national stage and gets their product and what they're being able to do and what they're building down there in Nashville on a national stage. It gets, it allows Eddie George to compare himself to see where his team stacks up early. It's an early season test, a big early season test, but see how his team will stack up against the rest of the OVC. And it is good for them to display for a potential future conference. <clears throat> wink, 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 the swag, wink, 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 uh, Dr. McClellan, wink, wink, wink. Continue to display their product to the SWAC or another conference for potential conference realignment because I'd love to see Tennessee State in the SWAC. We've already made that known, but, you know, I am happy that this is happening. And it also gives them a chance to, you know, show off the aristocrat of brands and kind of embarrass Notre Dame on that end. <laughs> they might get embarrassed on the field. They might get the better of Tennessee State on the field. But when it comes to the bands, we know the aristocrat of bands is about to wipe the floor with Notre Dame. And there's no other way around it. So I am happy for this. Shout out to Notre Dame. Shout out to Marcus Freeman, head coach, Coach Freeman. Shout out to Eddie George, Coach George, head coach of Tennessee State for making this possible. This will, I believe, I believe this will be, and Notre Dame gets great ratings for the games. That's why they get the exclusive uh, independent NBC deal. I believe this will be one of the most watched games of Notre Dame's entire season. I think this will be right up there. I think this game will be one of the most watched games for Notre Dame. Mark my words. It's an early season contest and that September was a September 2nd slate. They're going to outdraw a lot of other teams that September 2nd day game. Their game is going to get way more viewers than a lot of other games that are scheduled on September 2nd. That's just my a lot of other non-conference games. That's just my opinion. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave your thoughts in the chat. Hit that thumbs up button. Once again, my name is Jeff Lighty Jr. with the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlighty 7 I post all my content there first. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Peace.